In Academy District 20, sportsmanship is year-round. I'm Superintendent Mark Hatchell, and I've seen countless examples of sportsmanship by our athletes, coaches, and fans. From help up after a tough fall to encouraging words following a difficult loss, our athletes know the true meaning of sportsmanship. Gets it to love, makes a fake baseline, goes to the middle, and throws in the hook shot. Sportsmanship to me is respecting your coaches, officials, players, and the other fans. Cheer for your team, but also appreciate the other team. Sportsmanship to me means always putting forth your best effort to help the team, respecting yourself as well as the others around you, and treating your body right. Sportsmanship to me is respecting one another and understanding the other team's right to cheer. Sportsmanship to me is respect. Respecting yourself, your teammates, and your opponents. The set, left side, sent down, inbounds or out of bounds, that is inbounds for Amanda Cushion. Sportsmanship is being enthusiastic about your accomplishments while also respecting other players and their achievements. Throws left side to nice the end zone! Catch. And the catch is made! That's a touchdown! At Academy School District 20, sportsmanship is year-round. Baseline, throw the shot! Oh my gosh, it goes! Oh my gosh, it goes! Nice job keeping it alive by Swan. Back to Britton. She's got it. Here we go. Pine Creek takes game two. From Rampart High School, we welcome you into coverage of District 20 Athletics right here on 20 TV. Great to have you with us today. My name's Matt Pauley, alongside is Adam Drake. We've got our entire 20 TV crew as we've got a big matchup tonight as the Rampart Rams coming in with a record of nine and two, play host to the Liberty Lancers at five and five this season. Adam, you look at Rampart and you look at the fact that there is so much promise going into this year as really one of the best teams in the state. They welcome in Liberty. Obviously, you never know what's going to happen when you've got two schools so close to each other playing, but Rampart's going to go out tonight, and they're definitely in search of something special this season. Yeah, Rampart's coming in ranked third in the state, and they are definitely experienced on the front row. They have uh, big hitters and big blockers, so be ready to see that tonight. Liberty is a team under uh, Lindsey Hicks in her second season, graduated seven players from last season as uh, they continue to kind of evolve as the season goes along. Before we do go any further, we do want to let you know that if you would like to order a DVD copy of this broadcast tonight, a couple ways to get in contact with us. A, you can email us, 20TV at ASD20.org, or give us a call at 719-234-1780. Also, we would love for you to get social with us via our social media outlets, Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, and uh, the website. On YouTube, you can find both highlights and full game broadcast. You can also uh, get to uh, the website to uh, learn a little bit more about 20 TV and also find out what's going to be coming up in the future. Let's go ahead and take a look at these uh, two teams, and we will start with the uh, Rampart Rams. Again, they come in at 9-2 and two on the season. That's their roster as far as the starters tonight. Ashlyn Hare, August Rasky, Amanda Cushion, Janice Jinn, Taylor Seibert, and Josie Russell to go along with the libero, Jordan Kinsey. As far as what uh, Rampart has done so far this season, we mentioned their 9-2 and two record, uh, but they lost their last time out against uh, Lewis Palmer. That was a game where they hit just 133, had just two aces. Jen had a very good match uh, with nine kills, and she hit at a 692 clip. But for the most part, uh, Rampart struggled against uh, Lewis Palmer, so they are going to be looking to uh, vastly improve. Uh, Rampart is coached by Nikki Kenzer. She is an alum, her first year back with the program. And Adam, these were her keys to the game. Yeah, they're looking to do the little things right, getting good passing off to the beginning and uh, hitting smart. They're also looking to be aggressive with big swings, and Liberty's looking to get um, them out of the. Or they're looking to get Liberty out of their service rotation. Nikki. And also, 
Yeah, also to stay disciplined. Um, passing is going to be the key to success, and it's going to help them run their offense from the beginning. Sorry for interrupting you. Oh, you're good. Nikki Kinzer is somebody who, uh, in her first season, she really came in and inherited one heck of a program and one heck of a team. Yeah, they're definitely uh, experienced. They uh, they know how to play the game, and they're going to work together well today. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at the uh, Liberty Lancers. The starters, uh, you see the entire roster. Their starters today uh, will be Abigail Garnhart, Alyssa Barson, Haley Cuppet, Dylan Byland, Rachel Everson, Jenna McGuire, with Kennedy Castaneda uh, being the libero. As far as what they've done recently, they do come off a uh, win. Their last time out, they took on Fountain Fort Carson, and they got a solid 3-0 victory. That ended a three-match losing streak uh, in that matchup against Fountain Fort Carson. Jenna McGuire had five kills and three aces, while Haley Cuppet came up with uh, five kills. So that was a good match uh, for uh, Liberty in their last time out. As mentioned, they are coached by Lindsey Hicks. She is in her second uh, season, and these were her three keys against uh, a very good Rampart team. Yes, they're definitely looking to use the momentum from that last win and reduce their errors by playing focused, air-free volleyball. Uh, they also are looking to use strong blocking to limit Rampart's ability to get um, their options at the net to what they want. And uh, pressure serve you, really keeping uh, the inexperienced back row of Rampart on their toes. So they're definitely looking to capitalize on those serves too. Let's go ahead and take a look at some of the numbers coming into this match. And uh, you see some even numbers there and some not so even numbers. And Liberty it actually leads uh, Rampart significantly in aces. But then after that, you see the, uh, the blocks definitely uh, favor Rampart as does the kills and the digs to a certain extent. But blocks and kills, you get the feeling it's going to kind of be the Rampart front line against maybe that Liberty back line and see what happens there. Yeah, that, that seems to be the dynamic today. Um, they're definitely going to try to uh, exploit the, the back row um, of Rampart. We're doing some volleyball tonight, but of course we have uh, lots more coming up in the future. This is the rest of our fall broadcast schedule. We've got some football here on Thursday night. Pine Creek and Air Academy, myself and Dave Toller will be on the call for that. And then all those volleyball matches between October 9th and October 21st. We're certainly looking forward to that, including seeing this Rampart team uh, again on October 16th when they take on Palmer. All right, they are going to uh, have the National Anthem performance coming up in just a few moments. So we will take a break for that. And when we come back, we'll get this thing going from Rampart High School. The Rams play host to the Lancers, a District 20 matchup on 20 TV, and it's coming up next. One part excellent, one part inspiration, one part preparation for outstanding education. Academy School District 20, where dreams take Back at Rampart High School, Matt Pauley, Adam Drake, our entire 20 TV crew, one more time. Here are the starters. First off for the home Rampart Rams, nine and two. Ashlyn Hare will get the start, a 5'10 senior outside hitter. August Rasky, a six foot senior setter. Amanda Cushion, a 5'10 senior outside hitter. Janice Jen, a 5'10 senior middle blocker. And uh, Taylor Seibert, a 5'9 freshman middle blocker. Josie Russell, a six-foot sophomore middle blocker. The libero is Jordan Kinsey, five-six sophomore, obviously libero. Starters for Liberty: Abigail Gar uh, Garnhart, a five-eight junior middle blocker. Alyssa Barson, five-seven se uh, senior right side. Haley Cuppet is a five-nine senior outside hitter. Dylan Byland, a five-six junior setter. Uh, Rachel Everson, a five-ten junior middle blocker, and Jenna McGuire, a five-eleven junior outside hitter. The libero is Kennedy Castaneda, a 5'7 senior, and we are just about underway. As you can see it on your screen, Rampart in game number one will set up to the right side of the net, while Liberty will set up on the left side of the net. The coaches for Liberty, Lindsey Hicks in her second season. For Rampart, Nikki Kinzer, she is in her first season at the helm of this program. The floor official is taking a look at his starters and making sure that everything is correct on the floor and we are going to get this thing underway coming up in just a few moments. For Rampart they're 9-2. and two. Their two losses this season 
came against Lewis Palmer the last time out, losing 3 0. And then at Cheyenne Mountain, they lost 3 2 earlier this year. Liberty is 5 5. They did win their last time out. And we are officially underway as Dylan Byland sends it across. It could not be handled by Amanda Cushion. And that's going to be an early one point lead for the Lancers of Liberty. That ball was moving when it came across the net, and it was tough to handle. Serve will continue for Bylan, the 5'6 junior. Next serve comes over. This time it is dug out. The set from Rasky comes over to the left side, sent down. It goes off the block, and it's down for Ashlyn Hare. As she comes up with her first kill of the day, she averages 2.3 kills per set, and she comes up with her first. That was the big swing coach was talking about, taking the big hits from the beginning through the block. August Rasky, who is committed to Oregon, will uh, send it across. It is dug out. The set at the front line sent over. Dug by Rampart, played right at the net. And Janice Jen is there to send it down as Jen comes up with her first kill of the day. Coming over on that second hit real quick. Definitely caught Liberty off guard. Point Rampart. Rampart leads 2-1. to one. Rasky will continue to serve. Serving this season, 12 aces. Her serve is dug out. It comes right back across the net. Here's the set. It comes back left side to Hare. It is blocked. It's blocked on the front line by Barson for Liberty. Now from the middle, sending it down is Abigail Garnhart, and she comes up with a big kill. You see that big swing? August took his chance at it, but went wide. 2-2 two, two our score. Cuppet is serving. Dug out on the back line. Here's the set. It's going to come back over to the left side. The attack is down, and it's good for Taylor Cyber. She is just a freshman. She does not look like a freshman out there. She is in for the injured Holly Barron, and she's out with a fractured foot, and Coach is really happy with the way she's performing as a freshman. Yeah, Brennan is someone who's committed to Robert Morris, and that's a big loss for this Rampart team. They're still trying to figure out the best way to go about it, but you're right. Seibert has done a nice job. Serve comes across, and that's an ace. That's, that's an just, ace for Ashlyn Hare. That just dove into the ground. Liberty couldn't handle it. You see that angle, so Hare will serve again. She averages an ace on 7.6% of her serves. That time she puts it into the net. Doesn't do that very often. Service air, point Liberty, makes it 4-3. And this is Abigail Garnhart. She is a 5'8 junior, and she will serve. Her serve comes across, good serve, dug out. Here's the set, now from the right side, sent down, sent down hard by Seibert, and that's her second kill. That was a great back set from Rasky, and Seibert was ready for the swing. Cross court hit, and down. Seibert has 11 kills coming in, having appeared in just 24 sets as she continues to take a larger and larger role for this team. The ball cannot be played. It's a point for Rampart, and they're out to a 6-3 lead. Liberty making a couple mistakes that they don't want to off those services, and they're going to really hurt them if they continue that. Jen continues to serve. This time the dig comes straight back over across the net. Here's an opportunity for Rampart off the net. Liberty plays it. They try to keep it alive, and they can't. It goes out of bounds as getting the kill. August Rasky, her first kill of the night. Hitting around that block, she found a hole and got through the D. It was a great swing. Rampart out to a 7-3 lead now as Jen will continue to serve. 13 aces this year. Coming in, she averages a serve for every 10, or an ace for every 10 serves. Ball is played, it's sent right back over. Now here's an opportunity for Liberty to run some offense. Play comes to the left side. Sent over by McGuire, off the block. It goes out of bounds, and that's going to be a point for Liberty. That might be the Lancers' best, uh, uh, best volley of the day. Yeah, definitely got a great set. Ready to swing, pulled it, and off the block. Great hit. 7-4 as Barson will serve for Liberty. Her serve out of bounds off the inline. That's a point for the Rams as they are doubling up Liberty 8-4. Just when you want to start capitalizing off those serves, you send it long. It's going to be, uh, it's going to be a tough road if you continue that. Seibert serves at a 97.8%. She gets it over. It is playable for Liberty, sending it right back. That's down. That's good. Oh, yeah, Liberty gets a nice kill. Found a great soft spot in the back row of that defense. 
right in between the inexperienced back row. Point Liberty. Jenna McGuire with her first kill. She averages about two and a half kills a set. McGuire will now serve. Her serve comes across, played on the back line. Here's the set. It comes over to the left side. Not a great set, so Liberty gets an opportunity. They're set. This time it's going to come to the left side. Tried to finesse over. It was blocked back, but Liberty gets it over. Now Rampart's got an opportunity. Sent over a little finesse move from them. It goes back and forth. It's going to go out of bounds off the hands of Josie Russell, and that's going to be a point for Liberty. Didn't see her get up and swing, but she didn't get her hand over the top of that ball and snap that wrist. Ball goes long. 8-6 as McGuire to serve for Liberty. Serve is dug out. Here's the set. It goes over to the right side, into the block. Liberty plays it back, but they are going to call a lift against the Lancers, and that's going to give the point to Rampart. As Lance. we see Hare come in for uh, Mandico. Both the Lancers got up for a good block, and it uh, looked like they were able to return it, but the ref says nah. Amanda Cushion serves. It's played on the back line. Now here's an attempt by Cuppet and into the net rampart. That's going to be a point for Liberty. 9-7 is the score now. Let's see if we uh, see them getting into the net. Oh, oh that's a tough call. Yeah. That is a Looks tough like call. Looks like August was over the net. She was fine. So the libero, Kennedy Costaneda, will serve. Her serve comes over, cross-court serve. Here's the set now, right side sent over, in or out of bounds. Looks that like is it. out of bounds, and that's going to be a point for Liberty as Rasky just could not keep it in play. Setting up that offense, had a good approach, but the line shot was not there. Costaneda will continue to serve. Her serve is dug. There's the set, comes over the right side, and streaking in is August Rasky, and she sends it down. She's not going to do that twice in a row. She gets the big set. Swings it hard to the middle. Great point. And we will see the libero, Jordan Kenzie, serve for Rampart. Her serve comes across. It's dug out. The set comes to the left side and cup it. Cup its attack is dug out. Now here comes Rampart's opportunity. Hare from the left side sends it across. Liberty able to play it. Back to the left side. It's cup it once again off the block, but down on the, let's go fall on the Liberty side off the block, so that's a good block. And Rasky and Jen both getting up, getting their hands in front of that, and there's nowhere to go for Liberty. 11-8, Rampart leads. Kenzie will continue to serve. Serves at a 93% clip. Here's the set back to the left side, sent over quickly by Cuppet. Rampart able to play it, now left side Hare. Hare above the block, played on the back line. Liberty's gonna have to give it back. Cup it goes off the block and down on the rampart side. That is a point for Liberty on the attack by Cuppet. They're gonna swing through the block. You swing hard. Got it over and through. Point Liberty. Cuppet's first kill of the night. 11-9. Rampart leads. Liberty serving. Dug out back line. The dig comes all the way to the net. Punched over by Rampart. Liberty gets to run some offense, but they're not able to do so. Now a whistle. And Freshman Hare saying over the net. She was reaching over. Let's see. And Nikki Kinzer is not a real big fan of that call. She's going to come speak with our floor official right to our left. As you can see, she's trying to explain what happened. I believe uh, Kinzer, after finishing her career at Rampart, went on to play at UCCS, if I am remembering correctly. And now she is back here. 11-10 the score. Dylan Byland will serve for Liberty. The sets, uh, set comes left side, Hare. Hare between the block, it's down and it's good. Hare get, gets set up and she is ready to swing and she's swinging hard in between both those blockers. Nice hit. And Garnhardt and Barson need to create more of a wall there. There's too much room between the two of them. That Definitely. was too easy. Here's an attack from the middle. I don't know how that was dug out, but it was. Rampart's going to give it back to Liberty. They'll get another opportunity. The set comes over to the left side. Cup it. Cup it. It goes off the block. It's played on the back line. Now left side, Hare. Hare sends it over into the block, but they're going to say out of bounds. The tower official says that that went out of bounds. Man, it's tough to It looks like it see. definitely tipped that line on the side of the net. Out of bounds. So Rampart, it's a one-point game. Serve comes from Cuppet. 
and they can't return it. That's going to tie things up at 12 apiece, and Nikki Kinzer has seen all that she wants to see, at least for the moment, from her team as she takes a timeout. We are even at 12 apiece, game number one of the best of five match. We'll be back with you in just a moment right here on 20 TV. Adam Drake here at Rampart High School. We are courtside, and we've got uh, a good one going. Liberty playing really well as they are even with Rampart 12-12. What's Liberty doing right now that's really allowing them to uh, play against a team like this and be so successful? Well, I don't think they're making the mistakes they were making early on. They're definitely digging balls that are coming over, and they're setting up their offense and running it the way they want to. Serve comes across, and it's not. Ah! It's not going to get over. And that's a point for Liberty as they take their first lead of the day, 13-12. Let's see if they can capitalize on this and come up with a, with a win here in game number one. Cup it to serve. Her serve comes across. It is played. It comes uh, to the middle. It's punched back over. Here's Liberty with an opportunity from the right side. Sit down. It falls on the rampart side. And Liberty has a two-point lead. Alyssa Barson comes up with the big kill. Great back set, big swing off the block. Jin couldn't get her hands over it. That's a good point. Cup it serves. It's played right on the front line. Jin gets the set and she sends it right over. As that was a little bit too easy for Rampart, and Jin comes up with her second kill. Rampart moved a real quick one, two, three combo right there, right off the front of the net, and they were able to take advantage of Liberty on their heels. They're back within one as Ashlyn Hare, the 5'10 senior, will serve. Serve comes across, dug out on the back row. Here's the set right side. It's lifted over the net. So Rampart able to play now left side off the block. Liberty plays it again. Set comes left side, sent over the block, and it's down, and it's good. Jenna McGuire played that perfectly for Liberty. She saw Rampart was way back, saw the idea, decided that a tip was going to be your best option and just dinks it over the block. Now Great it's, idea. It's Abigail Gardhart, the 5'8 junior, to serve. 15-13, Liberty leading on the road in game number one. Left side attack through the block down, and it's good for Amanda Cushion. She is committed to Loyola Chicago. She comes up with her first kill of the night. This Liberty block isn't quite what they want to be. They need to get a lot closer and cut off that middle. They're giving too much options through, this, through the block. Serve comes over. Liberty trying to save it. They cannot point Rampart and we're back even 15-15. Substitution as we'll see Haley Cuppet return and Gabby Montalone come out for the Lancers. 15-15. We are in game number one. This is Janice Jin to serve. Her second serving opportunity today. It's dug, set, comes to the middle, sent over. Rampart's got an opportunity, but they're not going to be able to play it. Rachel Everson was the one who sent it over. Liberty's able to run their offense, get the quick, and right through the block. 16-15, Liberty has the lead once again. Barson to serve. Serve is just out of bounds. That was close. Good job by Rampart to recognize that that was going to be out of bounds. And they even it up at 16-16. And Rampart. Rotation violation. Yep. They were. And now Nikki Kinzer, again, the head coach for the Rams, is going to come over and say something. And it looks like it may have been August Rasky who is not in position. I don't think she was happy with the up judge calling that. 17-16. McGuire to serve. Liberty lead. Serve comes over. 
dug out. The Dugs Digs are going to come right over. Rampart able to play it. They send it back to the Lancers. Here's an opportunity. Left side, Cuppet. Cuppet sends it down, and that is out of bounds. Point Rampart. They're back even at 17-17 as Ashlyn Hare checks back in. Looks like the line shot was there, but she just didn't hit it where she wanted. Amanda Cushion to serve for the Rams. And it's an ace as McGuire could not dig that thing out. Rampart back out to a lead, 18-17. We've had a good number of ties and lead changes as we've gone along through the evening. Definitely been back and forth. Great match so far. The serve from Cushion could not be handled. It goes into the stands. Second consecutive time where McGuire, one of the key players for this Liberty team, has had a hard time coming up with the dig. Cup at second in a row. Next serve, this time McGuire digs it out. Now she's set up on the right side. She just barely gets it over the net. Liberty gets it back. Now left side, Cuppet. Cuppet has to go off the block. It's out of bounds off of Rampart. It's Point Liberty. Great sing swing from Cuppet off the block. Rasky was there, but too hard and out of bounds. 19-18. Rampart leads by one. Liberty looking for the tie. Castaneda serves it. Here's this set. It's going to come right to the middle and putting too much air underneath it. Amanda Cushion. She just could not uh, get that loft on top of it or get her own loft on top of it, I guess you could say, as she sends it way out of bounds. And we're back even at 19-19. Castaneda continue to serve. Her serve comes over, cannot be played on the back line by Seibert. And it is 20-19 Liberty. Liberty fights back. Lancers showing a lot of character as they go along through this evening. Castaneda to serve once again. Her serve comes over. It is dug out on the back line. It's just sent over very quickly, and August Rasky gets the kill. That's a good decision, and we'll see if that might be a momentum changer. Definitely hitting over on two, getting the team out of their rhythm. Liberty was definitely not ready for it. Great idea from Rasky. We are even at 20 as we look at a, uh, a game of fives right here. Kenzie to serve. Dug on the back line. The set, set, oh! Anything you can do, I can do better, <laughs> says Dylan Blyland. She's right there, and she'll send it over herself. How about that? She's taking notes. Definitely uh, takes one and brings it over. Nice work. 21-20. Liberty can start uh, maybe counting down as Rampart will send it back. This is a big point if Liberty can come up with it. Cup it left side, off the block. Liberty saves it. They'll have to give it back to Rampart. Rams with it, looking for their own big point. Left side, Hare on the attack. Could not be dug, it goes out of bounds. And Rampart has evened it up at 21-21. Big swing from the outside, freshman. Hits across court and couldn't be handled by Cuppet. August Rasky will serve. She's a six foot senior. Her serve comes across. Castaneda digs it out, the set. Gonna come to the right side, Cuppet into the block. Liberty saves it, and it goes out of bounds. Actually, they're going to call it a lift, a late whistle, but that was the correct call. It was a lift, and now Liberty and their coach, Lindsey Hicks, is going to take a timeout with Rampart leading 22-21. We'll take the break with them. We're back after this on 20 TV. One part excellent. One part inspiration. One part preparation. One part standing Take flight. 22-21, Rampart leads in game number one. Matt Pauley, Adam Drake back with you. This next point is huge. Rampart goes up 23-21. They're in route if Liberty can tie it up. Well, it doesn't even matter as that ball was not playable. It goes out of bounds, and that is a point for Rampart 23-21, and Liberty's in trouble. The Lancers are in some trouble now. Rasky serving for Rampart. Her serve is dug out. 
Now the set comes left side into the block, and Liberty cannot play it. Another point for Rampart as they are coming on late. They lead 24-21. Silvered on the block. Great job getting in front of that. No room for Liberty to get around. Rasky will continue to serve. Her serve comes across. There's the dig. And Liberty just doesn't play it. Barson should have set that one up. Instead, she was trying to let the setter, Bylan, come over and get it. That wasn't the best decision. It ends up with a point for Rampart as the Rams win game number one by a score of 25-21. one nothing. our score. The Rams lead the Lancers in the best of five match. And we've got game two coming up next right here on 20 TV. We are set for game two of this best of five match. As August Rasky will serve, the two teams have switched the sides of the court that they are on. And Rasky, who finished out serving, is going to be in. Again, Rasky is someone that's committed to Oregon. She uh, has a 48% kill percentage, a 39% hit percentage. Does everything well. 44 blocks this year coming into tonight's match. Really special player. As her serve comes across, Liberty is able to play it. Left side, Cuppet sends it down, and that is inbounds, and that is a point. It goes off the block, actually, and uh, then it falls. Either way, it's a point for Liberty. They get the one nothing lead. Coach is going to say, if you're going to hit off the block, hit high. Cuppet swung high, hit off the block high, and got through. Serve comes over, but way too much on that off the hands of Byland, that's out of bounds, and that evens it up at one apiece, and the new server for Rampart will be the 5'10 senior, Ashlyn Hare. Hare, set to serve, it comes across. It is dug out, the dig gives it right back to Rampart. They get to run some offense. Jen, right in the middle of the net, her serve gets blocked back to her. Now almost a double set, Rampart just gives it back, and that's, oh, wow, that's in bounds. I'm not sure if Amanda Cushion was even trying to get that inbounds. Looked like she was almost just sending it over, and it took a weird angle off of her hand and was placed perfectly. Cushion with her second kill, first of the game. Oh, yeah, Cushion was hitting around that block, went cross shot, and it was great placement. So Hare will continue to serve with Rampart leading 2-1 in game number two. They won the first. Here's an attack from the middle. It could not be played, and it's a point for Liberty. It's even at 2-2. Great quick set. They were ready for it. Rampart wasn't. Big kill for Abigail Garnhart. Once again, high off that block. If you're hitting in the block, hit it high. Jenna, hit it pass. Jenna McGuire, a 5'11 outside hitter, middle blocker, is back in for Liberty. Serve comes across. Here's Jen, tries to send it down. It goes off of Byland and onto the ground as that is a point for Rampart. They now lead 3-2. Rasky and Jen are communicating real well on that one. Quick set. Jen just puts it through that block. Her third kill overall, first of game number two. And now Jen will serve. Rampart leads 3-2. Serve comes across. Here's the dig. Set comes left side. Sit down, and that's a big kill for Jenna McGuire. She really reached back and found some power on that one. Uh, she was swinging hard. That set looked like a meatball. She was ready for it and hit it down. McGuire, her third kill. We're even, 3-3. Three, three. Serving now will be Abigail Garnhart. They wanted to make sure they got that call right, calling a tip. Point still goes to Liberty. Garnhart serve, it is dug out, but not that well. Rampart can't play it, that's a point for Liberty. Garnhart will continue to serve. She definitely has a tough serve and she was swinging for that back corner, got Rampart moving. Nice work. Garnhart has a 13 and a half ace percentage. 
as that next serve goes out of bounds. It's a point for Rampart. We're even, 4-4. Four, four. Seibert to serve. Serve comes over, it's dug out. The set comes right to the middle. And for Liberty, Averson just was not able to get uh, solid contact. Yeah, it was just like a mistimed jump. She wasn't able to swing, and the ball wasn't high enough for her to get it past that block and through and over the net. Seibert's serve, it is dug out. Here's the set, it comes over to the left side. Back for McGuire, and McGuire sends it down. She McGuire is starting to turn it on. She is swinging hard, definitely. Not going to stop that one. Substitution as Barson is back in, taking a seat is Becca Dabalski. 5 5, we're all even. We are even at 20 20 in the first game before Rampart eventually went on to win 25 21. Here's the attack from the left side. Shouldn't have been played. Amanda Cushion gets the kill. I don't know about you, Adam. I thought that one was probably headed out of bounds. Looked like she was swinging long. Definitely uh, got a hand on it pretty high. Uh, Cushion swings, but over that block, I would have let it go. So Cushion will serve now, or will continue as the serve comes over. There's the dig. It comes right back and sent over. Liberty can't play it. You can't give uh, the other team opportunities like that. Bad passes lead to points that are quick and capitalized by Rampart. Hare was right there. And it makes it 7-5 Rampart. The set from the top and Liberty just sends it back over and a whistle. They're going to call a lift against Rampart. They probably could have called a lift almost on, that was, I guess that was a solid punch through. <laughs> Looked like both sides were carrying that ball. Just wanted to walk it over. 7-6, Rampart continues to lead. Serve, comes across, dug out. Now the set, left side, Hare sends it over off the block. Liberty unable to play it, and that is a point for the Rams. Very impressed with the freshman, swinging hard from that side, getting, getting through the block. Nice work. 8-6, Rampart leads by a couple. We're in game number two, the Rams won game number one. Jordan Kinsey, her serve. Good serve that was really dropping down. and It's deflected to the tower official. There he is, nice catch. And it gives Rampart the three-point lead, 9-6. He was ready for that one-handed catch. Oh, yeah. Kinsey to serve. Serve comes over. There's the dig. It's played back and out of bounds. Point Rampart. They're having quite a bit of trouble with these services. Not getting good passes, you're not gonna set up your offense and you're not gonna run the things you wanna run. Here's Kinsey. Her serve is across, it's dug out, now the set. Left side attack, cup it and it is down. It is, oh they're gonna say Rampart was into the net. I think they're Let's saying Rasky was into the net and that's gonna be a point for Liberty so it ended up not mattering that that ball went out of bounds. Definitely looked like Rasky's reaching over and with her elbows, she touched the net. Castaneda will serve now. She had a great run in the uh, first game. We'll see if she can follow that up with her team down three. Left side hair into the block and it falls down back onto the rampart side. It's a point for Liberty and it makes it 10-8. That's what coach wanted. Hicks was saying, let's get these blocks and let's get in front of them. Cast Limit the options. Castaneda. Really puts a lot of extra English on those serves and makes it tough to play them. Now Jen, she sends it over. It goes off the hands of Gabby Montalone and it goes ends up going out of bounds and that's a point for Rampart, 11-8 Rams. Jen sees this the whole way. She gets it up, through and over. Nice swing. Three point lead for Rampart as they play on their home court. Rasky serves, dug out but goes backwards. Liberty is just gonna have to send it right back over. They do. Doug on the back line, the set to Jen. Jen sends it over, played by the libero, Castaneda. Now left side, Cuppet goes beside the block. It's played on the back row, it hits the ceiling. Rampart gives it back with Hare. And into the net, they're gonna say Hare goes into it, and that's a pretty easy call, and hopefully Hare's okay. She comes up limping. Hare. Looks like she just ran into uh, Rasky, came to get, oh, that was Jen. Looks like she ran into her own player. Dabalski back in, Barson out for Liberty on the front back line switch. 11-9 our score. 
The serve across, it's out of bounds. That's a point for Rampart. They get that three, lead, three uh, point lead back. It's 12-9. Hare to serve. Her serve comes across. And it's not played. Gabby Montalone does not play that. She's a little bit frustrated with herself as she's going to come out. And Jen McGuire comes back in. Great deep serve. Drops on that back line. Got Liberty guessing. And point rampart. We'll see if Liberty can take advantage of McGuire being back in on this rotation. Four-point lead for Rampart, and the serve, it's out of bounds. It's a point for Liberty. Back within three, 13-10. And McGuire will step up. We'll keep an eye on her and see how much they try to make her a part of this game plan because she's swinging real hard here in game number two. 13-10, our score. Cup it to serve for the Lancers. It's dug out. Now the set, it comes uh, left side to Cushion. Cushion's attack is played on the back row. Liberty is just going to have to give it back, and that is yeah. inbounds. Big point for Liberty. They're back within a couple. It's 13-11. Just a great dig out of the back. Get it to McGuire, and she puts it right where nobody's at. Fifth kill of the match for McGuire. Liberty back within two. It's 13-11. Cup it to continue to serve. Her serve is dug, kind of. And Rampart gives it back to Liberty. Here's a chance to run some offense. Sit to the middle, and right there to send it down is Gornhart. She comes up with a big kill. That quick set is definitely getting Rampart on their toes. They're not ready for those quick swings. No block necessary. I think everybody thought they were going to be looking for McGuire, and they gave it to the middle and Garnhart. It worked out perfectly. Let's see where they go to this time. The set comes to the back line, so they essentially give it to Rampart. Now on the right side, the attack from Seibert was playable for a moment, but it goes out of bounds, and that is a point for Rampart. Rams back out by two. It's 14-12. Big swing. The dig was up in the ceiling. They tried to play it, but couldn't get to it in time. Nice. Jen will serve. Excuse me, Adam. Serve comes over. The set now left side. There's McGuire. She punches it over, and it's unplayable. Jen punched it back, but punched it out of bounds. And Liberty gets a point back within one at 14-13. Well, McGuire once again with the finesse. Doesn't need the power of these, these last two hits, and she's finding the open spots. And again, I'm not sure if that was going to stay in bounds or not. The serve from Garnhart goes into the net, and that puts Rampart's lead back out to two at 15-13. Russell, six-foot sophomore middle blocker, will serve. Russell's serve comes across. It's dug out. The set to the right side into the net. Dabalski, she put it into the net. Looked like she was looking for a tip, almost a full swing. Yeah. Couldn't make her mind up. And Cushion got a piece of that, too, on the replay. You could tell she made solid contact. Either way, Definitely. gives Rampart the lead, and the serve is not played well by Cuppet, and it's a point for Rampart. Rams out to a four-point lead, 17-13. They went on a late run in game number one. Could they be starting that late run now? They get another couple points out of the next three possible. They're going to be in really good shape. And there's another point, 18-13. Let's see if Lindsey Hicks calls a timeout. You got to think with the passes that Liberty has been producing over the past couple of services, they're going to need to talk it over again. Coach Hicks does not take the timeout. Rampart is continuing to serve. Here's the set, comes left side. McGuire sends it down into the block, and it falls onto the Rampart side. That is a point for Liberty, a much needed point for Liberty. As Barson back in and Dabalski back out, 18-14. Four-point game. Serving will be Barson. Important serve here. Her serve, short serve, playable. Comes back right side, sent down, and it's a kill for Cushion. Her fourth kill of the match, her third kill of the game. August with a beautiful push backwards. Cushion had nothing but time to swing at that one. Sets it up, brings it down. 19-14. Rampart leads. Serving as Cushion. Dug out, given right back. No, it's going to go out of bounds, and it's a point for Rampart. They lead 2014, and there's the timeout from Lindsey Hicks. 
2014 is our score. Rampart leads the match one game to none. They lead game two by six. And we'll be back after this on 20 TV. One part excellent. One part inspiration. One part preparation. Or outstanding education. Academy School District 20, where dreams take. Rampart leads game two, 2014. They lead the match uh, one game to none. They're looking to take a two game to none lead. They're five points away from doing that. And Amanda Cushion will continue to serve. Liberty's got some work to do. Down six, you can't get it all back in uh, one, uh, one time. But if you can find a way to maybe score six of the next nine points or so, that puts you a little closer towards the end. Cushion serves. It is Doug. The set comes uh, to McGuire. McGuire has it go off of Cushion. And it's a point for Liberty. A much needed point. Another kill for McGuire. She now has six. McGuire is going to be ready to serve now, too. See what she can do from the back row. Serves at an 81% clip. Lindsay Hicks just said something to the floor official, I think, about something that Rampart might be doing. Either way, the serve goes out of bounds. It's a point for Rampart, and that really hurts. Yep, that's not what, how you wanted to start that round. And McGuire's going to take a seat for a second. I'm not sure that score is correct. Shouldn't it be 21-15? I have 21-15. What do you have, Adam? That's what I would have had, too. But it looks like they might have given that point to Liberty on a touch. I don't know. I thought that was a, a rampart point. Definitely served it long, but looked like the uh, tower official called a touch. Huh. So a timeout. We'll go ahead and keep it here as these two uh, teams talk so evidently we uh, we missed that official was at the scores table they didn't change it so it looks like uh, it was a point for Liberty and McGuire will stay with the service that's a huge point for Liberty trying to get back in this now all of a sudden if they can reel off a couple points and get it to 2018 you could maybe give up a rampart point and still be in it well, it looks like it's going to be ramparts no. I don't know if that scores right scores wrong Score, I believe, is wrong. Nobody's catching it. I think it should be 21-15. Looks like Coach Kinzen was looking, and she's looking a little confused, too. Here's the attack, and it goes off the block of Rampart's Jen and Rasky. And I guess officially that gives Rampart a 21-16 lead. I believe that should be 22-15. I would agree with you. Jen and Rasky get up there, close down that line shot, block it. Now very quickly from the middle, that's Bylan sending it down, her second kill of the night. 22-15. So Liberty will serve. This is Castaneda. Her serve comes over, it's dug out. Now the set, left side, hair into the block and right there was Abigail Garnhart. Big block, 22-17. That's what they're wanting in this whole game. They closed it off, got together, teamed up. Not getting through that one. Byland was there as well, along with Garnhart. Now they're going to talk with the... Uh, they think the score is 22-17. Uh, I, th I think they've messed up the, uh, the score. But you know what? The score... Credit Lindsey Hicks as the serve goes over Rampart and it makes it 23-17. The score is actually good for her, Lindsey Hicks and her team and that's, uh, that says a lot about her as a coach and a person that she brought it to the attention that the uh, score was wrong even with the, that uh, helping her team out. Punched over. 
Rampart trying to play it. Here's Hare. She'll send it back to Liberty. The set comes right to the middle, sending it down, coming up with the kill. It's Garnhart once again. Her fourth kill, third of the game. They get a quick set off. Hit high on that block. Abigail drops it for a point. 23-18, five-point game. Byland to serve. Dug out. There's the set, it'll come right side to Hare. Hare sends it down and it is out of bounds. Liberty back within four at 23-19. No touch. The block was there, she just hit it wide. Byland will still serve, her serve comes over. There's the dig. The set comes left side to Cyber. Dug out on the back line, here's a chance for Liberty. Left side, cup it off the block. Played again, Liberty still with it. They're just gonna have to send it over and they put it into the net. It's a point for Rampart and they are one point away from taking a two nothing lead. It's 24-19. I think Byland thought she had a hitter on the outside, set it that way and just couldn't recover. Hare will serve for the game, but a timeout has been called. 24-19 our score, we are back in a moment on 20 TV. Ashlyn Hare to serve for the game. It comes across. Liberty plays it, gives it right back. Rampart for the win. The set to Jen, into the block. They'll try again. Here's another set. Going to go left side to Cushion. It gets uh, dug out on the back line by the Libero. Left side, Cubbett sends it down. And Liberty keeps it alive. It's 24-20. Big point for Liberty as they continue to fight. Great point back and forth. Couple hits from Rampart. Couple swings from Liberty. Liberty puts it down. Liberty will serve. It's Cup it. Cup it puts it into the net, and that is the game. Rampart comes away with the win as they win game two, 25 20, and they take a two to none lead. 25-21, the final score of game number two. Rampart leads by a couple games. We're back after this on 20 TV. One part excellent. One part inspiration. One part preparation. Or outstanding education. Game three just underway. Welcome back in. Rampart won the first two. They're back on the right side. Here's an attack from the middle for Liberty. Rampart able to play it. Now back left side to Phillips. We haven't called her name very much. And her first touch, it goes off of a Liberty player in Montaloni and out of bounds. That's a point for Rampart. Yeah, I don't think she's taken a swing yet, and she got a nice cross hit right there. That was great. Alicia Phillips, a 5'8 junior outside hitter, has just four kills coming in to tonight's action, having played in just eight sets. She's now played in nine sets as she gets the start in set number three. The attack from the left side from Dabalski goes right into the Rampart block. That's tough, and that's a second point now for Rampart. That's a great block by the uh, Rams. Looks like Jen gets up, covers that cross shot, blocks it down. Two nothing, serving as Rasky. This time it is playable for the Lancers, but it's hit Way hard and way high by Cuppet. And Rampart is out to a 3 nothing lead. Looks like she just missed time to jump. Couldn't get her hand over the top of that ball. Great start for the Rams. Rasky continuing to serve. Serve comes across and that does go out of bounds. It's the first point of game number three for Liberty. 3-1 is our score. Rasky's been pretty solid on the service, but that one had a little too much power on it. Went deep. 
Haley Cuppet, the 5'9 senior, will now serve for the Lancers. Her serve does come across. Dug on the back line. Here's the set for Jen. I'm not even sure she touched it. But they say Liberty was into the net. Let's look at that again. Looks like Jen might have swung into the net. I don't know. It could have been Abigail, too. So it's a point for the Rams that lead 4-1. Phillips to serve. Her serve is dug out. The set comes left side to McGuire off the block and out of bounds. Point Liberty as McGuire continues to play well. She gets the big set and ready to swing. Winds up right through that block. 4-2, Rampart leads. This is Abigail Garnhart who has played a nice match. Set to serve, Garnhart serve, comes across. It is dug out. The set to Jen and sent over. It is out of bounds. Point Liberty. So after getting down big early, they're back within one at 4-3. Looks like Jen and Rasky just had a little bit of miscommunication. Jen hits it long, but those two are definitely working well together. Garnhart will continue to serve. Here's the set, left side, sent over by Cushion. Liberty trying to play it and they hit it over. No, they're gonna say a lift against Liberty. That's a bit of a tough call. Yeah, I think so too. It looks like they got their hands under it. That's not I a lift. I don't know, I don't know. McGuire definitely looks like she was swinging. Yeah, that's a, that's a bad call by the tower official. Here's Jen to serve. Sent across and Lam Liberty's gonna have a hard time playing it. Nice catch, Matt. Thank you. Just a funky pass off that service. Jin will serve. Her serve goes off the net. Liberty trying to send it back to Rampart, and they do. Good opportunity for the Rams. Left side, Cushion sends it off the block and well into the stands. That thing bounced off the block and about five rows into the stands for Cushion. Cushion saw that the whole way. Rasky saw her too. She was ready for the set, and Cushion came up with a big swing. This is Jen to serve. She's a good server. 7-3. Rampart leads by four. They lead the match two games to none. Serve comes across. It is played by Liberty. Here's McGuire on the left side. Her attack was played. Left side cushion again, and she sends it down. It is inbounds. Point Rampart. Cushion is on a tear. Set far. Cushion cross shot right on the line. Great, great hit. Five-point lead for Rampart. It's 8-3. Here's Jen. Jen serve, comes across, dug out. The set comes over left side, back to McGuire, off the block and down. Great block again for Rampart. They've seemingly figured out McGuire. Rampart up 9-3, and Lindsey Hicks has taken a timeout. We're back with more next on 20 TV. Three is our score in game number three. Rampart leads the game. They lead the match two games to none. And they are on quite a run. They got up 4 nothing. and went to 4-3. And now a 5-0 run for the Rams. So 9-3 our score. This is Jen. Jen serves. It is dug out. Here's the set to the right side off of the block. It's a point for Rampart. It was Dabalski who... Tried to get that thing in. It looks like they're calling four hits. I think they swung that off the net. It yeah. actually didn't come over to Rampart. Now you're right. Jen will serve. Dug out. The set comes. Left side. There's McGuire. Put a lot into it. They have seemingly figured McGuire out. Rampart plays it back to Liberty. Let's see what McGuire can do this time. Dug out on the back line by Jen. Here's a chance for Rampart from the left side. Cushion. It goes off the block and out of bounds. Cushion. Put a little extra gas in the tank coming into game number three because she's got all kinds of power and she's just bouncing those things off the block and out of bounds. Oh, she hit it so hard it came back at us. Glad, glad I got a haircut. 11-3, Rampart is just running away with this thing. Jen 
to serve. Dug out. Played at the net, and there's Cushion again. Are you kidding me? Cushion. That is four kills for Cushion in game number three. Cushion is ready to take advantage of that miss hit. Definitely right at her, and she is not going to miss that. Cushion did not have big numbers coming into today, but she's having a big match. Left side, McGuire sends it between the block. It's dug out, and it cannot be played. McGuire finally gets that kill she's been looking for. She continues to play very well. That is her eighth kill of the night. She lines it up. August tries to get under it, but she couldn't handle it. Great swing by McGuire. 12-4, and this is what Liberty wanted, to just get that side out and get back serving once again. It will be Alyssa Barson to serve. Barson's serve comes across. It's dug out, set right, and the middle sending it down, and it is inbounds. Josie Russell comes up with her first kill of the night. Great quick set by Ratsky. Sends it long, right on the line. That's Russell's 10th kill this year. Hitting just 0-65, but came up with the big hit. 13-4, Rampart leads. From the middle, McGuire, uh, nice move by McGuire to uh, really purposefully just send it to the right of the block. Yeah, you can see that setter almost runs into the net, but they uh, were able to stay off. McGuire just tips it where no one's at. She's definitely a smart heads-up player. Catherine Gorab, who's only appeared in eight sets all season, she is in, and you can tell she's excited to be in. A 5-3 junior. Doesn't play a lot. She's on the back line. She's going to dig it out. Here's the set. It comes uh, to the middle. Sending it down. Cushion. This time it's dug out. Great job by Liberty. Cup it, sending it over, and it goes off the foot of Nikki Kinzer the head coach for Rampart, and that is a point for the Rams. Just looks like that net lowers when Cushion's about to swing. She gets up there so high and swinging hard and down. 14-5 our score. Now Cushion is going to have to go to the back line and serve. Dug out by McGuire. Here's the set. It comes left side. Cup it. Cup it up against the block. It's going to go out of bounds, and they're going to say it went up against Liberty once again, and then out of bounds. So that's going to be a point for Rampart. They are tripling up the Lancers. 15-5. No, it didn't go back. No, I don't, yeah, I don't understand that call. 15-5, and that's an ace. That is an ace for who else? Amanda Cushion. Cushion with a big swing out of the back row, and this McGuire couldn't handle it. Miss hit it. I'm going to have to collect. If you're a member of the Cushion family, you're probably going to want to purchase a few of these on DVD before all is said and done. And the attack, and it cannot be played. It goes out of bounds, 17-5 Rampart. That jump serve like, looked like one of her swings from the front of the net. It just dipped down into the line. Cushion will serve again. And this time she puts it into the net. That's all right. She's allowed a mistake or two before all is said and done. 17-6, 11-point lead for Rampart in game number three in a match in which they already lead 2-0. Kennedy Castaneda will uh, serve now. For Liberty, we said this in game two, we'll say it in game three. She's had some nice runs back there. We'll see if she can get Liberty on a run. The serve comes over, it's sent back down, Rampart able to play it. Now it comes left side, sent down by Phillips and that is just barely out of bounds and it's a point for Liberty. They're now down by just 10 at 17-7. Close call, but it was out. Yeah, Liberty got the block up that they wanted to limit that option, but Phillips couldn't take advantage. Castaneda serve falls before anybody can touch it and there's two consecutive points for Liberty. Castaneda back there is giving uh, Rampart some trouble. These are some great serves. 17-8 now. Let's see if Castaneda can get Liberty back into this set. The serve is dug out. Now the set comes right side. Sending it down. Playable for Liberty. Back line. McGuire sends it across. Rampart was ready for it. Set comes left side. Phillips off the block and out of bounds. Point Rampart they're back up by 10 once again. It's 18-8. Phillips has got to be happy with her approach. Great set from Rasky, and she took a nice swing at it. Hit it off the block. Point Rampart. She had four kills all season coming into tonight. She now has two alone this evening. Appearing in her ninth set. This is the Libero Kinsey to serve. Doug on the back line. Here's the set. Comes left side. Cup it. Played at the net. They're going to say into the net against Rampart once again. And August Rasky was not happy with that call. And She's setting up a protest for sure. We can watch it here on the replay. And it looks, ooh. What do you think? I don't know. 
They're going to they're gonna discuss it, but it looked like Jennifer Mont was in. Nope. Excuse me. Looked like Cuppet was in the net on her backside. They're going to give the point to Liberty. So the officials might have missed that one. Is that what you're saying? I might go out of limb and say, yeah. All right. Here's Rasky. Oh, she's not happy. <laughs> <laughs> she knows what to do with that. She did not have a kill in game number two. If uh, you could get more than one point for a kill, you would have gotten it right there. If you're going to set her up like that, she's going to take advantage. Big swing oh. right on the line. 19-9. <laughs> <laughs> Rasky serve. Here's the uh, set. Comes to the left side. It is dug by Phillips. Here's the set. Right side, Jen. Jen sends it over. Castaneda can't play it. It's a kill for Jen. Her first of game three. And it makes it 20-9 to nine as Rampart en route to a victory. And Lindsey Hicks wants to take a timeout. 29 is our score. 22-9. And we shall take a break and have more in just a moment right here on 20 TV. One part excellent, one part inspiration, one part preparation or outstanding. Twenty to nine is our scores. Rampart holds an eleven point lead and August Rasky is continuing to serve and Cuppet's gonna come out and they're bringing in Miranda Mandel. I don't know if she's seen much. No, it doesn't look like she has. She's a sophomore. And everybody's very happy to get her in. Right side, Cuppet. It's dug out. Here's the set, comes right side, sent down. Liberty able to play it for a moment, but not for very long. Seibert gets the kill, her third of the night, first in game number three. 21-9, Rampart. They won game one, 25-21. They won game two, 25-20. And they're en route to an even more convincing win here in game number three. Rasky, the serve, it goes out of bounds, and that is a point for Liberty, it's 21-10. And the Lancers look once again to go on a run. It's going to be Haley Cuppet to serve. 16.9% ace percentage, almost 17%. She could use an ace here. Her serve comes over, dug out, and there it is. It's a point. Yep. As could not be played by Miranda Mandel. Cuppet's been streaky at best with her serves tonight, but that one definitely was going in, and great point. Took advantage of the inexperienced back row. 10-point lead, 21-11. Here's Cuppet to serve again. This time it is dug out, playable. Left side, Seibert sends it over, and it's going to go out of bounds. 21-12, Rampart. And Liber Rampart's got a lot of their kind of backup type players in there. Let's see if Liberty can take advantage of that. Cuppet to serve. Dug on the back line. Now here's a set. Jen sends it over, and... It goes out of bounds, point Liberty. Right, well, Here come the Lancers. Cuppet taking advantage of Mandel. Cuppet, her serve, it is going to go out of bounds. That hurts for the Lancers as they were on a run. If they could have gotten three, four, five more points, might have been interesting. And we'll see Mandel come out and Cushion is back in. Serving is Phillips, the 5'8 junior. Her serve, dug out by Castaneda. Here's the set. Comes left side, McGuire off the block, and a whistle. They're going to say Liberty was into the net. Point Rampart, 23-13. I think McGuire on her follow-through came into the net. Watch it right here. Yep, looks like she continued her momentum forward and touched that net. So... Rampart needs two more points to finish this one off. The set comes right side. It is out of bounds off the hands of Barson. And it is match point for the Rampart Rams. 
You can hear the crowd get a little bit louder. The students have been very good tonight, and it'll be Phillips to serve. Her serve comes over, just grazes the net. Here's the set. McGuire's going to have to give it back, and it is out of bounds. Rampart gets the win. They win this one tonight, 25-21, 25-20, 25-13. And Adam, great effort by Liberty, especially in the first two games as they really fought hard. Rampart, one of the most talented teams in the state, really started to impose their will there in game number three. Yeah, you could definitely see Rampart's prowess. They were able to run their offense the way they wanted. They were able to get the blocks and get Liberty out of their rhythm. Rampart is a high quality team. Liberty tried hard and tried their best and they did a great job. Rampart sweeps Liberty. We'll take a break, we'll come back, we'll go over some final numbers and give some final thoughts. Stick with us, we're back in a moment on 20 TV. Rampart sweeps their District 20 rival, their 5A Metro Conference foe, and a team that's just down the street in the first league game of the season for both teams. Rampart improves to 10-2, 1-0 in league play. Liberty drops to 5-6, 0-1 in league play. Matt Polly, Adam Drake, and Adam, I know we've got some uh, highlights from this one. Yeah, definitely some great play from both teams. Uh, Rampart taking advantage of some miss hits from Liberty, but Liberty definitely put together some great stuff from McGuire. Um, back and forth for the first two sets, and then uh, definitely Rampart coming in with that last one and just showing their dominance. Yeah, you look at, uh, you look at some of the numbers, and these are as unofficial as they can get, but I had uh, Amanda Cushion really leading the way for Rampart with eight kills. She was uh, flat out Spectacular, four kills for Janice Jen, four for August Rasky, uh, three for Taylor Seibert, three for Ashlyn Hare, and then uh, two for Alicia Phillips, and one for Jody Russell. Again, those numbers are unofficial. Amanda Cushion really came on, and it was very impressive. As far as Liberty goes, Jenna McGuire uh, led all players. She ends up with nine kills. McGuire was really, really good for the Lancers. Uh, if you'd like to order a DVD copy of this broadcast tonight, you can do so. You can email us, 20TV at ASD20.org, or give us a call, 719-234-1780. $10 for a DVD, 15 for a Blu-ray disc, and uh, you can live this one over and over and over. Also, we are all over social media. If you enjoyed this broadcast tonight and want to learn about more of what's going on with us, you can always find us on Facebook, on Twitter. Also, the YouTube channel always has uh, recent game highlights and also full game broadcast as well. And those uh, future schedules are coming up at ASD20.org slash 20TV Sports. And speaking of our future schedule, we've got another one coming up uh, on Friday, excuse me, on Thursday when uh, Pine Creek football, number one 4A team in the state, takes on Air Academy, and Air Academy much improved this year. They are going to be tested probably like they haven't been tested all season long when they take on Pine Creek on Thursday. That's going to be interesting for all you volleyball fans. We've got four matches between October 9th and October 21st, and we're looking forward to being able to bring uh, all those. I was, uh, Adam, I was impressed with Liberty because Rampart, we, we've established, Rampart's a really, really good team. Definitely. And Liberty fought back to even in the first match, they, they had a late lead before Rampart finally took it away. Uh, I'm not a moral victory kind of guy, but if they go back through the film, if they go back talking about this game, Coach Lindsey Hicks is going to have a lot of things to build off from this uh, evening tonight, even though they got swept. Yes, there's definitely, definitely some good positives. They were running their offense for most of the time. Uh, they were getting their passes together and uh, just uh, trying to do – um, the little things right, and I definitely think they have some uh, areas to improve, but they definitely uh, have a good building block. You look at Rampart, and they've already got spectacular players who are going to go on to play collegiately. August Rasky 
committed to Oregon. Janice Jen committed to Colorado School of Mines. Holly Brennan, even though she's out with a fractured foot, she's going to be headed to Robert Morris. They've already got almost as much talent as anybody in 5A in the state. And then you have a night like this where somebody like Amanda Cushion comes on and just comes up big. Yeah, you can tell the talent is there, and they're definitely going to try to make a run deeper into the playoffs. Cushion coming up great. Ratsky, obviously a dominant setter and uh, playing at Oregon, so they'll be, that'll be a great addition for them. Uh, Rampart's going to be someone you'll see late in the season, that's for sure. Adam, it was fun. Thanks for doing this tonight. Thank you, Matt. That's, great time. That's Adam Drake. I'm Matt Pauley for an entire 20 TV crew saying good night. 25-21, 25-20, 25-13. Rampart sweeps the Lancers as they improved 10-2 and open up league play with a win. We will talk to you again soon right here on 20 TV.